Santa has notified stringent anti-paper leak law. The new law proposes severe punishment for solver gangs with jail terms of up to 10 years. To curb cheating, a minimum imprisonment of three to five years has been established. Exam service providers avoid a malpractice will fail, but failing to report if they're aware, but if they do not talk about it, not report it, could face fines up to one crore. Institutions involved in these crimes risk property forfeiture with the cost of the exam recoverable from forfeited assets. Offences under this law are non-bailable. The law covers key examinations like the Union Public Service Commission, Staff Selection Commission, Railways, Banking Recruitment and Computer-Based Exams conducted by the National Testing Agency. This comes amid widespread controversy over exam paper leaks with students protesting and demanding accountability for days now. Aditya continues to be with us. Aditya, we have a new law in place which has now been notified. But the fact of the matter is that the damage has been done and several steps are now being taken. For example, there is discrepancy or there is a sense that there could be a discrepancy in various other exams like the CTT. Again cancelled or again postponed in Bihar, isn't it? Well, exactly, Sneha. As far as the examinations are concerned, of course, they, the alleged leaks and the reported leaks actually pose a major threat to not only the authenticity and the credibility of the exam and the examination taking authority, but also to the morale of the students who are actually preparing for the exams. And notable is the fact that, of course, the state, uh, central government has uh, stepped, uh, stepped up uh, and come up with a new act to actually control and restrict uh, the use of unfair means in public examination. But the matter of the question remains, continues to remain that what happened till now and what all will be done to those who were involved in the question paper leak of the neat uh, controversy and no notable is the fact that the way the entire investigation is panning out and the, the way the entire scope is widening of the investigation you can categorically understand Sneha that more people and more white collar people are likely to be caught in this Sneha. Right, be with us Aditya I'll just come back to you in a moment from now so what does the new law which has just been notified propose it proposes severe punishments for solver gangs. So stricter punishment as a deterrent is what it proposes. Organized cheating can lead up to 10 years of term in, term in jail. Also, a minimum of 3 to 5 years imprisonment to curb cheating. This is what has been said in the new law. Exam service providers, if they're aware of wrongdoing, but if they do not report it, they could be fined up to 1 crore rupees. The property for feature again is something that the law talks about. This for institutions which could be involved in a crime if their involvement is proven. Cost of exam shall be recovered from property for feature. This something is listed in the law as well. Our aims to prevent unfair means in public exams. That's what the law aims to do. Offenses are non-bailable under this particular law.